for the sake of you parents with young children and you future parents, I feel I have to speak out. It's this book, Cinderella. Beware, if you read this over and over again to your kids, you too will get tents with swag curtains and chandeliers and draperies and mansion venues. Throughout my life, I had always hoped I would be lucky enough to meet someone just like my dad. Someone who's kind, loving, someone who is thoughtful, sensitive, and someone who's genuine and loyal. On that street in San Francisco, almost three years ago, I did. Mr. Deming Taylor, getting here today, I think it's best for a camp in some of our earlier days. The second time I came out, I met Marty and Tom. My parents fell in love with them straight away. Mar Marty's still, still my favorite, but I love you. I remember the first time I met Eric. It was Eric's second time in Boston, but first time coming out to visit Lisa. And it was like the start of their one of many long distance relationships back and forth across the country. <laughs> Eric is such a genuine, fun-loving, adventurous person. And his pure love for Lisa is so obvious. You fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You're both choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, who makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. This is not the happily ever after that Lisa has been dreaming of since we were little kids listening to Cinderella every night, and seriously, every single night, guys. But it's the beginning of their very own wine-filled fairy tale. Ruff.